guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. Today is Sunday, which means it's Scent Sunday on my channel. And I'm doing something a little bit different. Today I'm gonna to be talking all about my Body Mist collection. I bought quite a few from Bath & Body Works recently because they were having a sale for $5.95 a piece. And so I thought I would share with you those and just kind of my collection in general for a few reasons actually. One is that I tend to share a lot of expensive perfumes when it comes to actual like fragrance, perfumes, EDTs, EDPs. I tend to go for more niche stuff, which tends to be expensive. It's not on purpose or something. It's just tends to be the fragrances I enjoy. So I thought it would be nice to share something that's more affordable. And also some of these scents that I got more recently are out at Bath & Body Works currently for like the summer collection. And I thought I would give you some of my thoughts in case you were interested in them. I can let you know what I like and what I don't. If you've been here a while, I've actually had, I feel like a tumultuous relationship with Body Mist for a long time. I really didn't like them. And I never thought I'd see the day where I was like buying body mists again <laughs> even once I was getting into perfumes because I was like they're less strong like they don't last very long like who would want that but I've unlocked how I like to use them and I do feel like they have a place and for me I really enjoy body mists for more lounging at home situations where I don't want something super strong I don't need something to project I'm not trying to like impress anyone else with my perfume or make an impression like that you know it's for me only and sometimes I like to use my nice fragrance for that too like just to enjoy it because I like the smell but sometimes you want something just a little more casual when you're hanging out at home and um, I also have enjoyed body mist for going to bed so a lot of my collection is kind of focused around scents that I would maybe enjoy for that specific use because I don't want something that's going to be super strong or stay around for hours and hours on end I kind of want it to have a short shelf life for me to enjoy while I'm going to bed and when I wake up you know fresh new day so anyway uh, that's enough of that let's just get into it I'm gonna let you know my thoughts if I really like it all that as we go so basically I just have Bath and Body Works and then I have a few Victoria's Secret so I'll start with the Victoria's Secret ones just to get them out the way I have four different ones and I would say we'll start with my favorite one the bare vanilla scent is probably my fave so I have a tiny dent going on in this but this is the bare vanilla untamed and it says the notes in here are vanilla elixir apple blossom bare vanilla in the wild I don't know that's just what it says on the back here and this is a really Really nice I feel like cozy warm vanilla I love vanillas and they're perfect for me for lounging and sleeping exactly what I mentioned this one's just so cozy if you like Kaoli's vanilla 28 I think you would enjoy this like I definitely tend to get excited around vanilla fragrance mist because it's just hard for vanilla to go wrong for me because I tend to like the more gourmand more I guess synthetic or like fake smelling vanilla that smells like vanilla food or icing and those types of things and I feel like body splash is like they love that shit and so that's where we connect really well I just feel like this vanilla is the perfect amount of like powdery and warm and not too floral but not too like too too realistic foodie either so it's a very very nice one Sam really likes this one as well I do have the original bare vanilla and I don't enjoy the this as much as the untamed version for whatever reason. This is just a little bit lighter. That one has like something, I don't want to say gooey to it, but it just has more depth to it. It has a, a more full bodiedness to it. This just feels a little thinner, I guess. It feels more like powdered sugar or something like that. Um, so I just prefer the other one. It has a warmth to it that I really enjoy. But nonetheless, it's still good. I mean, I still have it. I've just noticed that I tend to always reach for the untamed over the the regular vanilla whenever I'm going for that scent. This next one is called Lavender Cloud. It's white lavender and whipped vanilla. I've really been into those like lavender scents mixed with a really nice vanilla note. And this one I have really enjoyed, again, for nighttime and sleeping and just kind of relaxing, winding down. I feel like a lavender and vanilla heavy scent is like perfect for that. And this one's really nice, I really enjoyed. It's really a perfect mix, I feel like, where there is that lavender in there, but it's not too herbal, it's not too aromatic, it just is enough. And then the vanilla in here, again, is nice and warm and like comforting. And it's just a very nice girly scent. Not too sweet, but still sweet. So I love that one. And then the last one here, this is called Solar Sands. I don't know how I feel. I've just kept this one because I'm like, maybe one day, <laughs> maybe it, there will be the right time. But this is Sweet Acacia Golden Vanilla. 
and then it just says, welcome to the heat. This definitely has a kind of shower or shampoo-y vibe to it. Like, like it kind of smells like that. And now actually that I'm smelling it, I kind of get like Marc Jacobs Daisy vibes from this. There's something about it that actually smells like this. And now I'm like, oh, okay, that is maybe what I was liking about it. Cause I knew when I saw that, I was like, I don't know quite when I'd wear this, but yeah, it kind of smells, I don't know. It smells like Daisy to me something about it. It's kind of floral, but sweet and light and airy still, but something about it's kind of fresh as well. So anyway, those are my Victoria's Secret body mist. I definitely prefer Bath & Body Works. I just think they have a better selection. Although I know that Victoria's Secret has a lot of stuff. I just gravitate more, I think, to the Bath & Body Works. So let's get into those ones. I'll start with some of the newer ones that came out um, in case you were interested in those. I have a few from what feels like, I don't know what this line is called, but they're kind of in similar packages. I have three actually from this line. So this is Golden Ocean Pearl. I really love this. I did not expect to like this as much as I do. I did smell this one in person, so I knew um, what it smelled like before I ordered online. But the fragrance notes on this are Bergamot Breeze, Vanilla Orchid, and Golden Amber. And I find this to be a really nice, like warm, musky scent. It's definitely light and I feel like refreshing. Like the amber in it gives it this touch of warmth without being too heavy. It's still very nice and light and refreshing to me. And then something about the Vanilla Orchid in this is giving it a tropical vibe. It's not like, you know, coconutty necessarily. It's not like, like beachy, but there's definitely something about it that makes it summery, you know? It's really beautiful, it's a great one, and I've really been enjoying using this after I get out of the shower. I'll just put this on, and um, I I feel like it lasts a decent amount of time too on my skin. I can definitely keep smelling it. A very, very nice one, surprisingly. I really enjoy it. Sea Salt and Lavender, I picked this up because I was excited for the lavender note, and I was willing to give that Sea Salt kind of a try. I like this okay, not my favorite. You can smell the Sea Salt, Salt. There's almost something kind of um, powdery or something to the sea salt note. You can definitely smell that. It's not bad. It's just not my favorite. It says fresh sea salt, blooming lavender, and sun-drenched sands. You can smell that kind of sandiness as well. I don't know, this is one that smells beachy and maybe it's the lavender mixing with that. You know the lavender that's in the like French lavender one they used to have? It's kind of like that smell mixed with something sandy and beachy. So, um, Mm, it hasn't been my favorite so far, but we'll see if it grows on me or not. And then I went out on a limb and I picked up Hibiscus Paradise. This one, I was like, it'd be so great to have like a hibiscus type fragrance that I enjoy, but I was nervous this would be very fruity smelling. But this, I actually really like. I think it's a really nice tropical scent. This has notes of pink hibiscus, juicy guava, and sun-kissed coconut. And I was just really happy that this didn't smell like an overly sweet, like syrupy alcoholic beverage that was like frozen and blended. I definitely smell the coconut. I feel like that's pretty strong, but there's almost something kind of musky to that coconut and it's not super bright and juicy. Like it doesn't get your you know, mouth watering. It smells more like a perfume version of that. And I actually really enjoyed it. I feel like it smells pretty expensive compared to what I was expecting. So this was a win, especially for not smelling it beforehand. I think the last one of like the new fragrances that have come out for summer, this is Beach Nights. And I really wanted to get my nose on this. I was like waiting for it to come into stores. It like took a second, at least to the ones by me. And I really like this. This also has a sea salt note in it, but I really enjoy it. So this has notes of toasted marshmallow, yeah, that's why I wanted to hunt this baby down. Sea Salt Breeze, S'mores Accord, <laughs> Beach Driftwood, and Creamy Vanilla, and I feel like that's just so accurate. I pick up on the toasted marshmallow and even that kind of s'mores thing going on, it really does smell like you're having s'mores on the beach at night, like kind of, I don't wanna say by a campfire because I don't get tons of maybe smoky stuff going on, but you're definitely getting those really sweet notes of the toasted marshmallow while also getting something kind of beachy and I think it's just really beautiful. I've really been enjoying this, not only on me, but I've been spraying it in my room when I just want like a pick me up for my room, but I don't want to light a candle. Like I don't want to commit to something for that long. And it's been great. I also picked up the uh, shower gel when I bought this so that I could use them both together. And I feel like one of the reasons I really like this and really wanted to smell it is because it sounded like it was going to be the summer version of Fireside Flurries, which is like 
one of my favorite smells ever. I'm obsessed with this. <laughs> this is Toasted Marshmallow, again, Pink Lavender and Cashmere Woods. This is so good, you guys. It definitely has that kind of fireside smoky thing. I almost feel like this smells a bit like a gingerbread. Uh, I don't know, it has like a gingerbread thing going on to me. It reminds me of like the Haunted Mansion during Christmas. They'll uh, have like a gingerbread smell when you go through the ride. It has like a vibe of that to me, <laughs> like something really sweet and just absolutely delicious, but kind of spicy. So I loved this one and I was hopeful this would be like the summer version and it definitely is. So I think if you like this, try this for sure. And it was my favorite scent of all the summer ones. Um, I just, I'm a sucker for anything toasted marshmallow, honestly, <laughs> like I'm gonna wanna try it. I have eight more scents to talk about. Um, I'll go through the rest of the ones I got in that order. So I picked up Cashmere Glow. I believe this was an online only fragrance mist and the notes were golden peach, lily petals, shimmering vanilla and cashmere musk. And I felt like this would be a really just nice, cozy, again, warm scent to wear at night, just chilling out, cozing up. And it is really nice. I do think it's a little fruity. You can definitely smell the peach that's in here. It kind of reminds me of a celebrity scent, but a little bit lighter. I think it's nice. I haven't tested this one on my skin, like wearing it yet, but um, I'm excited to see how this one goes. Another one kind of in that same category, this is Sensual Amber. This has notes of golden amber, wild berries, orange flower, lotus petals, and creamy sandalwood. I definitely enjoy those kind of warmer scents when it comes to my body mist. Again, just I try to keep in mind what I know I'm actually gonna use these for. Like I'm not gonna wear these when I'm like going really out. I am gonna wear these when I'm staying in. So that tends to be something a little bit more casual, cozy, comfy, and like comforting, you know? This is nice. I'm excited to get this one on. Again, I haven't worn this one either. I definitely smell that amber. Um, I think something about the berries in here actually give this something uh, deeper. It's not like a bright berry. It reminds me of something almost plummy, you know, to it. This definitely has a sensual aspect to it, I think. It's kind of sexy. I like this one a lot. I'm excited to also wear this one to bed. I think this would especially be good on colder nights. I think that's everything I got from this sale when it comes to the body mist. So just moving through the rest of what I have, another one I really enjoyed. And I think one of the first ones that got me onto the body splashes and being like, oh, wait, <laughs> I think I will actually like this is the Bonfire Bash. And this is, a lot of people compare this scent to um, By the Fireplace from Replica, which is one of my all time favorite scents. Like I freaking love that. I was like obsessed with it last winter. <laughs> and this definitely has that smoky note to it. It is not a dupe to me. Like, I mean, I just love that scent. So, you know, I'm gonna tell you every time to probably just get that one. But it definitely has something smoky and this really nice creamy, like whipped, full bodied vanilla going on and it's beautiful. So this has vanilla bourbon. Yeah, it has that richness. Creamy sandalwood and cashmere musk, beautiful. I find whenever that vanilla bourbons involved, it definitely can get a little, yeah, smoky and kind of heavy and a little cloudy in a really great way. And that is definitely in the scent. If you have something like vanilla bourbon from Mix Bar, I feel like it's very similar to that. Like, I don't know if you would need both, but they're in the same vein for sure. One I definitely wanted to pick up once I was like into the body mist. I was like, I need to get my marshmallow pumpkin latte. This is like one of my all time favorite scents for the hand soap. I love it in the hand soap. So last year was a little different, I'm not gonna lie, but I wish they would make this into a candle. I don't know why they don't, or I, ha I haven't seen a pumpkin marshmallow latte candle. I tend to go with the caramel pumpkin swirl. Anyway, I just had to get the scent for like nostalgia and the fact that I love the scent so much. It has notes of pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallows, hello, <laughs> creamy sandalwood and praline musk. It's definitely a sweet one. To me, this is definitely more cold weather, you know? It's very sweet. I can smell the pumpkin, a little bit of spice coming through, but it's a lot of just like, it's just a lot of sweetness, you know, in this one. So I'd really want the weather to like be able to handle this one, you know? I wanna be cozied up and this would be comforting instead of like, too much and cloying, you know? But yeah, this is just such a great scent from Bath & Body Works. I love this one so much, I'm a big fan. Next, this one is in the stars. I'll have to look up the notes on this. I picked this up or wanted to buy this because a lot of people have compared this scent to Baccarat Rouge 540, which you guys know I love. And I don't get it. Really, I mean, it doesn't smell like that, but I will say this is a nice scent. And I do think for a body mist, there's something about this that does smell expensive. And I mean, maybe in the sillage, maybe in the dry down, it has like the tiniest resemblance, the tiniest, but I think it's just nice sometimes to have a body mist that doesn't smell like 
a toasted marshmallow or a vanilla or a fruity coconut. There's something about this that almost smells like just a perfume, you know? Like I couldn't tell you from just sniffing it all the exact notes I smell. It just smells nice and it just smells like a perfume counter or something. So I think when it comes to a body mist that can be kind of unique actually and also can make it smell a little bit more expensive, like more in the designer realm than in the, you know, body splash price point. On the website it says this has notes of starflower, sandalwood musk, sugared tangelo, white agarwood, and radiant amber. So maybe that kind of oud note gives it something kind of expensive. But I think it's nice if you want more of like a perfume smelling thing, something that I feel like you could wear out. Like you don't have to be on tropical vacation or my mind doesn't go immediately to that where a lot of these do or I'm just like cozying up in my sweatshirt at home. This could be something you could wear out, I think. And smell really nice, but obviously you could do whatever you want. If you wanna wear any of these out and that's what you wanna wear, do it for sure. These two I picked up kind of outside because I was was excited about the notes and the kind of cotton candy note and I don't know I really want to love cotton candy in a lot of ways I do I think it just has to be done right because it can definitely get just sweet and kind of tangy or fruity this one cotton candy cloud smells legitimately like an icy like it smells like a, an icy to me like I'm at the movie theater or, or the gas station pouring an icy <laughs> just smells like liquid syrup. It's nice, don't get me wrong, like if you like that, I just don't know when I would wear this. This isn't comforting and cozy to me. This is just an interesting smell. So I keep it around. It's so sweet. It has that like really high pitched sweet note to me. That's how like my brain reads it. It's like ding, like something got hit in my head. I believe the notes on this one are spun sugar, so that cotton candy, pink berries, and whipped vanilla. The berries definitely shine through a little bit in this with that cotton candy note. And I think I hoped for maybe a little bit stronger base of that whipped vanilla, like that full bodied vanilla. It's not bad. If you like cotton candy notes, I definitely think you would love this. It smells like straight up, like cotton candy's been liquefied. <laughs> It's been put into a drink. This next one is Dream in the Sky from Bath and Body Works. This has notes of sugared lavender, which was what kind of sucked me in, honey butter and whipped vanilla. And I was hoping it would be another really nice cozy lavender vanilla scent. And it's just a little more perfumey than I wanted it to be. It also, this one smells very high of alcohol to me anyway. Like that dissipates a bit, but it's not as cozy of a vanilla as I expected. It's just not as good. I definitely uh, prefer my lavender cloud scent over this one, even though they're kind of trying to do the same thing. It's just, there's something lacking in this one. So it's definitely not my favorite one. Yeah, could be, could be better. Disappointing for sure. I feel like the lavender is a little bit stronger though. So there's something pretty aromatic going on out of all the notes, but everything's just kind of faint and odd. And the last one in my collection, this is one I purchased because of Leah Janae here on YouTube. If you don't know her channel, she talks a lot about Bath and Body Works stuff. So I'll leave her channel down below, but she did a collection video talking about her fragrance mist. I'll leave that too. And she has like so many, oh my gosh, her collection is pretty intense. And so it was really fun watching what what she had and seeing some old, you know, fragrance mist and her talking about the notes. And she mentioned Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds and how it's like the best scent, but they haven't really come out with it since it came out, I think. And she was like, it's really expensive though. So as soon as she said, this is really good and people really like it, I was like, I wanna smell that. And so I kept my eye out for it and I found it for a reasonable price at least, but mine has definitely some gone. And this is Whipped Vanilla Marshmallow Meringue. The marshmallow note, you guys, I'm a sucker. White Magnolia and Fluffy sandalwood. And I do enjoy this. This reminds me of the Summer Boardwalk candle, which I really have been enjoying. I mean, that's my second one I burned this year and it's already halfway done. I really like it. There's something about this that almost has a popcorn smell to me. Um, I know it's not listed here, but it almost smells like Rice Krispies too. You know how there's something like sweet, but the offset of like something slightly savory and salty going on really just like amplifies everything. That's kind of what I smell with this. I definitely enjoy, I think, Beach Night and Fireside Flurries over it, but I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like, am I happy to have it in my collection? Yeah, for sure. And so, yeah, that's my last one that I have here. So I've really enjoyed the body mist. I like using them, like I said, at night on myself, but I've also really been enjoying them, using them for room sprays. And just when my mom was in town, she also would use them a lot. I don't know. I've just, I've really been enjoying the 
the body sprays. Who thought? Who thought? Bath and Body Works does such a good job. They have so many different scents coming out. So I'm always a little sucked into any of those vanilla scents and seeing if one of those will be really good and different. And so, yeah, it's just a fun little thing. I'm definitely going to keep my eye out for the Bath and Body Works collections as I come out and use my little free coupons to get a fragrance mist. Why not, you know? Um, but I'd love to know what are your favorite fragrance mists like from Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secret? Or of course, if you have a different brand that you think I should check out, let me know. I actually do have the Ariana Grande cloud coming to me. They just started carrying some of the fragrance mists at Ulta and I bought a few things. I'm excited to do a video trying some new makeup on and that will be coming to me. I love Ariana Grande cloud and I already used the perfume as a bedtime scent, but I thought it'd be nice to have the mist as something more lightweight and nighttime. So um, yeah, let me know. What scents do you like in the fragrance mist? What other fragrance mists should I check out? If you have some that are your favorites that you think I'd really enjoy, I would love to know and go research them. It's like one of my favorite things, I swear. I look up notes and perfume and fragrance mists like so much, like too much maybe. It's so fun to me, I, I really enjoy it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and seeing my collection. Um, other than that though, I'm gonna leave you here and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.